One of the greatest things about spring training baseball is the lawn bleachers. Regular season, you have the normal bleachers and rows that kind of box people in. But spring training, you have the wide open lawn. And that means on a home run ball, you can have some chaos. I'm going to go through a couple of my favorite home run lawn battles from this spring training. First, start out with a nice one. This guy here knows what's up. Tracking the ball, bare hand catch, got a kid jumping on his shoulders to congratulate him, another kid gives a high five and another kid celebrating down there. Hug from this girl, kid reaches for the ball and yoink, hand on the kid's head like he's holding back a goat going for his pellets at the petting zoo. And looks like he's putting the ball in the girl's hat but they cut away so we'll never know. I don't know if every kid in this area knows this guy, except for this kid, or if it's just a really supportive fan base around him. But a nice one to start with. Good catch, good reaction, everyone's excited heartwarming all around. Now the opposite. This ball bounces, is going right up to this family, and this kid is going for it. What does dad do? Boxes out his own kid to get the ball himself, and then a scrum ensues. They cut away so we don't see who gets the ball again, but dad, boxing out your own kid, C come on. Here's a shot to center. This guy jumps over the rope into the batter's eye. He's the only one around it, but this guy here wants the ball barefoot, jumps the rope, runs in, and bang, we got a collision. Looks like the other guy is trying to help him up, but the broadcast cuts away again. You really gotta stop cutting away, broadcasters. We came here to see the lawn chaos. Now this guy is a seasoned vet. He knows what he's doing. Ball on the ground in the open. This guy looks like he's about to dive head first. Our vet here wants the ball, but he isn't taking any chances. He drops in and immediately rolls out of danger. As we saw in the previous video, that's probably a good course of action. Okay, here we got a ball on the ground. We have a full-grown adult coming in hot and a little kid going for it as well. They run into each other, so who wins? You'd think the adult, but no, the kid bowls him over. Watch this again. Boom! I don't know the physics of how that works, but it's funny to see. Now this one is impressive. Watch this guy in black. Which, who wears long sleeves and black to a sunny Arizona spring training game? But I digress. The ball is going to land over in this area, and there's a sea of people in between him and the ball. Somehow, keeping his eye on the ball the entire time, this guy navigates through the crowd at a running pace like a trench run in Star Wars, snags the ball, and keeps on jogging. I don't know what kind of spider sense this guy has to not run into people while completely focused on the ball, but somehow he pulled it off. We've got an adult by himself. Nobody is even close. This one is a gimme. But nope, completely mistracks it, and a kid without a glove snags it on one hop. If you're an adult bringing a glove to a game, which I'm not knocking, I've done it plenty of times, you should have at least have an idea of how to use it. Otherwise, you're going to embarrass yourself like this. Here we got a guy with a glove, tracking it well, but for some reason falls over when he catches it. Probably not necessary. This kid thinks he's got a shot at it, but knows it's behind him. What's he do? completely takes his eye off the ball and starts running up the hill. Now kids, if you have an object going over 100 miles per hour in your general direction, do not take your eye off that object. I think the kid realizes this too late and puts his glove over his head while still running up the hill. Kid didn't get the ball, but whew, it takes some confidence in knowing where the ball is going to take your eye off it like that. To show how hard it can be to track these things, you look at this freeze frame and it looks like old timey here's got a bead on the ball and his hands are moving up to catch it. You'd think the ball is close to him, right? Nope, about 15 feet behind him. And he falls over for good measure. And look at this girl, fetal the entire time, wants nothing to do with the ball. You see that a lot. Here we have two ladies near each other going synchronized fetal positions. One one way, one the other. This one's not a lawn, which should be a crime against humanity to not have an outfield lawn at a spring training facility. But look at this guy with the glove throw. Great thing is, ball bounces back and I think the guy gets it, but they cut away again so we don't see if he gets it. Another crime against humanity. 0 for 2 Guardian Spring Training. This one I'm going to show the swing because you get a nice ah shucks from the pitcher. Ah shucks. But you got this kid tracking it. Has a glove and has room. No excuse not to make the play, but it goes off the glove, kid doesn't get it. This kid though, the opposite. Nice box out, nice tracking, nice catch, nice celebration, respect. I'm also going to show the swing on this one because it's an absolute rocket off the bat. Bang! This one's got some heat behind it, but this guy is unfazed. Makes the barehanded catch on the liner. He's got a dad strong shirt on and he sure as heck lived up to it. Watch this guy in white here, pretty far away from it, doesn't stop him. Comes flying in, dives, takes out this kid. Watch this kid again. He's got a shot at it and bang! This guy in a Yankee shirt with a beer gets the ball with one hand and manages to keep the beer upright, which is the most important thing, obviously. 
Guy goes for the bare hand catch, bounces off right in the middle of this blanket where this girl isn't even looking and it's right behind her. She turns around and gets the ball and mom is happy. Yay! Guy who missed the bare hand catch with the angry fist. I had it. This lady with the glove here, she's tracking it, she's got the glove up and it's not even close. Here's two guys and a kid going for one and the two guys jump to catch it, which I haven't seen before, while the kid just nopes out of there. Look at this guy's jump. He's got the knees bent and he's a good three feet off the ground here, but neither can haul it in. Here's another example of a jump, and this time it goes well, but the guy wasn't looking at where he lands and nearly takes out a family going full Roman Testudo. If you look from the beginning, they get into that formation and do not budge the entire time. This kid's got perfect position, he's got the glove, and he completely loses it in the sun and goes full fetal position. Nice bare hand catch in traffic by the adult. This one bounces, but this guy right here, nice reaction to the bounce and nice one-hander. This one's just chaos. Guy goes for the bare-handed catch, misses it, and it lands near his feet, but it's rolling down the hill. So him reaching down turns into a full dive with this other guy going down with him, barreling into this guy minding his own business. And this kid wants in on the scrum. Unfortunately, they cut away, so we have no idea who came up with it. This one's just a nice accidental Baroque painting. You got the guy dramatically reaching out for the bare-handed catch, kid running over, this old timer pointing up going, there's the ball like he's acting out the creation of Adam, while we got two people ducking and covering. Ultimately ends up disappointing though. Bare hand guy misses, ball bounces over the fence into the parking lot and nobody gets it. That's all I got this time. I strongly recommend paying attention to what's happening on the lawn during spring training home runs. Any team without a lawn in their spring training stadium, what's wrong with you? The lawn is the greatest place to be on a sunny spring training game. You need to fix that now.